This is prison. When you are here, you live by people's rules. You don't have your rules. You don't have your freedom. Immediately you are in prison. Papa, how is Emeka? Emeka is fine. He sent his greetings. Why does he still not want to see me? I've forgiven him a long time ago. I don't want you to misunderstand that, son. Emeka is so ashamed of himself for all the evil he unleashed. And, uh, you know, he's having life. But one thing I know is that very soon he will know he will have the bond next to speak with you. That's no problem. Papa, we miss you at home. My mother and everybody send their regards. We can't wait for you to come back. We pray that God grants you good health until the day you are out of here. My son, I can't wait for the day God will give me the opportunity to see my family again. I leave them for them to see that I am now a changed person. I leave for them to enjoy me for once in their life as a father. As for the boy and girl I captured to get my wicked powers, I pray that they and their parents will forgive me. It's okay, Papa. We still love you. And we are forgiving you. That's what matters. Thank you, my daughter. Again, I want to say this. I am I'm always happy to see you a, a principled man, a, 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 a man that knows what he wants, a, a man that refused to follow the first step of his wicked father. I'm very happy and I'm proud of you. You see, the fear of God is the beginning of any man's wisdom. I can see, I feel it in you. I'm very happy. You see, this world is nothing. I felt I am something, and God reduced me to nothing to show me that I am nothing. God is everything. Just like what he did to Nebuchadnezzar. That's what he did to me. Look at me. The man that thought that he is God himself. I'm in jail. I am nothing. The power I thought I have felt me. I'm proud of you. Give it up. And may God bless the two of you for me. Amen, Papa. Amen. <laughs> I've told you several times. I don't want to see you pass through all this stress. Give me that broom, let me help you and sweep. Huh? Bialongenus, is it not too early for you to start displaying your lack of sense? Why do you always come to my house to make a nuisance of yourself, eh? Because I love you. See, let me tell you, there is nothing you will say or do that will make me to get angry with you or hate you. <laughs> I will take everything you know, because of the love I have for you. Longinus, why is it so hard for you to understand that I don't love you? Why is it so hard for you to understand it and accept it? Eh? Because I don't believe you. If you don't love me, if not, tell me who do you love? What kind of a stupid question is that now? It is not stupid though. Because a beautiful woman like you cannot tell me that you don't have the love in your life in this village. If you don't love me, who do you love, if Ananya? Longinus, if you are trying to imply that I don't have a man in my life, you are very much mistaken. I do have a man in my life, and that means there's no space for you in it. Chinekemo. <laughs> okay, see, I brought this bread for you. 
just to show you that I can take care of you if I marry you. Hey. It's specially made for you. See, honey, bake. Me, bread. Longinus, please leave my father's compound. Leave my father's compound right now. You mean you don't want this bread? Leave my father's compound as I'm telling you now. Please. But from the way I'm seeing you, it's like <laughs> you look like someone that I've not tasted this kind of bread for a very long time now. My friend, leave here before I lay you. Come on, get out of here. You mean get out with your bread. I come. I don't want to see you here again, no. I don't want to see you here again. Do you hear me? What sort of rubbish is this now, eh? Are you sure you don't want this bread? Is it by force to love again? Eh? Yeah. Let me see you in my company again. Fool. Yeah, but... <laughs> Is there nothing that I can see? Chikama, I know you must have overheard I and Longinus talking right now. So please, say whatever you want to say and let me continue with my sweeping. Biko, or Gene Kijokanku. What do you want to say? Hey, Sumaya. I have seen that you were sent to come and support this for me, this family. I've forgotten me. I've seen it. No, no, no. I've seen it. You were sent to come and support this for me here. I've seen it all. I've forgotten me. No problem. Jehovah. Chikama, if you don't have any important things to say, just tell me. I will continue with my sweeping. You are a wicked sister. You are wicked. I don't blame you. It is God who gave you the face to attract all the men in this village. Even outside, they come and ask you, Simba. You block away and block my way. God will judge you. God will judge you. That's why God will judge you. What is this? What are you trying to say? Are you not my elder sister? Aren't you supposed to get married before I do? Uh -huh. Ibia, yeah. good question. It is not my fault, though. It's God that gave you the face to attract men. It's not my fault. But my dear, if you come on down. I will handle this my way. I will handle it myself. It will make sense very soon. It will I will see it. I don't have your time. I just don't have your time. I don't blame you. I've had Simba. They come, no. This one come, no. They all come, no. Let me tell you something. Tomorrow night, by 2 p.m. at night, come to my five star hotel room and watch me how I line up 10 men and kiss them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not this one, this one, this, this Alika, this one that looked like, like one of the slaves in my hotel. <laughs> Honoro, what is wrong with you? Please leave us alone. They say you're a mad girl. But I'm beginning to suspect that you are just using this your madness to look for trouble. You know what? You better leave this place before I beat you black and blue now. Eh? What did you say? Beat me, Honoro. You want to beat me black and blue? You are finished. You are finished today. Let me tell you something. You think I don't know why you're saying all this rubbish? You think I don't know? Because I refused you when you came in last night to penetrate into my mansion. You think I don't know? <laughs> For your information, let me tell you. I have hired assassin. Yes, two assassin in my mansion. No more penetration in my mansion. <laughs> God forbid. Me? Come for you for what? Eh? When I have my... Tasty and delicious, yummy, yummy, ugochi here with me. Am I mad? Alanapum, Ibiachugi. You be mad, my friend. You are be mad. See, so you don't even know that you are mad, though. You are a madman, Joe. What am I even doing here? Talking to these mad people. Let me honor the queen of the universe. Better JJ go to my palace before the two of you will infect me with your madness. <laughs> Baby, you see, just calm down, okay? Don't mind that mad girl. Just relax. Okay? Just relax, okay? Please. We all have to do something about her and her madness before she gets out of hand. What do you want to do with her? Eh? What do you want to do with her? Do you think I don't see the way you were staring at her? At her waist when she was leaving? Eh? Baby, see, it's true I love waist. I love waist very much, but not a mad girl's waist. 
Eh, hot take any now. Only a lack of book, even you again. Eh, see, see, just calm down. In fact, how can you even say that about me? Eh, how can a big boy like me, all the way from Lagos City, come here and belittle myself so low to a mad girl? Guess one kiss I call the loud car, please. Take your time, eh, baby. Just relax. Let's continue what we are doing. Relax, what? Just leave me. Don't touch me again. Yay! Baby, come back now. Let's finish the business. Please. Baby! Ugoch, hey! He think he can come to this village and use any girl he wants and dump them like that. Also, Chief Omeka, let me tell you, when you are ready to be a real man, not this, this one, come and meet me on Noro. I am the queen. I will teach you how to be the real man. Chief Omeka! <laughs> I meet with Chief, Chief Omeka. I am going to eat him and eat him. Mm. And I will vomit him and I will eat him again. Chief Omeka is a madman. Come out and face me now. <laughs> Chief Omeka is a madman. Oh. Where is Chief Omeka that says he is the lion of this lake? wretched barren woman so you still have a voice to sing in this house pick a lonely brabo eh Yankim, when will you and Ekene my son rise up to face reality and tell yourself the truth that things are not well between both of you when have you gone dumb am I not no, talking to you I'm sorry ma Please forgive my indiscretion. I should have saved you your food a long time ago. Let me go and get it. May thunder strike you. In fact, may the God of our forefathers strike you and make you so miserable that no one will be able to take anything from you. Fool May you feed your father and your mother. Did I tell I want to eat food? We will put Mugin and Ria bag and you know, you can of your left God. Ma, what have I done to deserve all these insults and insolence? What have I done? What haven't you done? 
a woman that cannot give me a grandchild. Can you follow me now? You're barren. Wretched, wicked, barren. Look at you. You will enter into the room with my son and come, come out empty. You may pop away, but I will not. You know you are. You know what? Look at this miserable thing, this wretched thing. I don't even know if your, your, your mother gave birth to your picture along the road. So, you're so ugly. You fool. You need to just get out of that. Nonsense. Let me hear it again from your mouth. It's yours. It's just. I, I told you. Hey! She's naked like me. She's naked like me. Monica! You're out of prison. How? When? My love, hey, honey, my love, ah. you're back. Hey, 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 hey. He is back, oh. Chief Omeka is back in this village. Only God knows what he has brought back for us this time. As for me, Onoro, I am not going to sit in this village and say what the great king of mad people is going to do to us. <laughs> oh no! I'll just take a straight bus and go to the London. Oh no! Yes. Uh, London. Stop this fake news! You are, you, 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 you are just <laughs> spreading all over everywhere. Who told you Chief Omenka is back? I don't even know how 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 come such small small girl just got mad like that. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh no, no! You are getting to something else. Yeah, a madman! You don't know. Chief Omenka has gone and bring us. Stop! Mad. Stop! Come on! Please, stop! I don't even know what I'm even doing. If America is back to us, though, I will go to London today, today, today by bus. Get my passport and go to London by bus. Where are my wives again? Father, I had to let them go. What? You had to let them what? What are you talking about? Father, you had six wives and numerous concubines before you went to jail. You don't expect me to leave all of them here? You want all of them to stay in this compound all these years with me and my wife? Your wife. So you and your wife. That's the problem I'm having in my own house. Or were you praying for me to die in prison, my son? Father, you have just come back from prison. Why don't you follow me? Let's go inside so my wife will make you food. Then you refresh and get some rest. <gasps> it's funny you talk about me and rest. When you have succeeded in scattering all, I, I, I left behind me before I went to prison. You know, sometimes I, I ask if actually you are my son. Father, why, why do you talk like this, father? What huge evil have I done? I visited you in prison constantly with my wife. So don't talk as though I abandoned you there. Get me my wife's and all that I left behind before I entered prison. Then I will answer your question. I believe there's one question you'll have an answer to right away. Where is my brother Emeka? Emeka died three months ago. Did your father tell you why he has been hostile since he came back? My elder brother, Emeka, is dead. Jesus! When? How? My father only told me he died three months ago in jail. That's the reason he has been hostile towards everyone. I'm so sorry about that. But how come we have not received this corpse since he died three months ago? you asked so many questions. I just told you what my dad told me. 
Why don't you go upstairs and prepare something for us to eat? Maybe when he's done eating, he'll have enough strength to say more. Okay. Sorry about that, eh? Alright. Darling. I'm sorry about the loss of your brother. But don't you think it's high time we move out of this compound and go and get our own place? Nkiru, this is not the time to discuss this. I just lost a brother. Go and make food. We'll talk about this at a more convenient time. Okay. I don't want him. I'm so tired of Charlie and his antics. So, did he makes me suspect that he's cheating on me? How many times would I want you to stay from that guy? All the city boys that come to this village only plays on us, and when they are tired, they leave us and run back to the city girls. That is true. That is true. But my problem is that I love this guy so much, and I want him to marry me. You love Charlie? I do. And you want him to marry you? Yes. Who told you Charlie is the type that is ready to settle down anytime soon? He told me he will marry me very soon. That's what he said. And you believed him? Yes. I believe him because he loves me as much as I love him. Charlie, then you are very big fool. Hey. Seriously, ah, you are so stupid that you should be living in the bush with the animal. Oh no, wait though. With the way you think, even the animal might have to chase you out for being more stupid than they are. Hey, 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 Stop it there. What's the meaning of all this insult? What now? Insult is what you get if you believe Charlie. Can't you see the way he dresses, dresses himself? Can't himself about in this village? He's not going to marry you. Charlie is the most rampant sketch chaser I've ever seen in my life. Sketch chaser? Adai, has my Charlie eh, ever chased you before? God forbid. Are we mates? Hi, we are not mates, my dear. Hmm? He has looked at me. And seeing that I'm not the kind of girl he can play with. Now I see. Hey, Adawan, you should have told me that you are jealous of me and Charlie now. Hey, jealous, Ikwa. You should have told me that you're jealous because I am with Charlie and you're with that your useless Ozo that has never stepped his feet out from this village. Eh? Uh -uh. Watch it. Please don't insult my man. I've been insulting your man. Eh? All this one you've been doing, what are they? Eh? Look at you, useless friend. I should have known that you're jealous, eh? Yeah, I should have used less and stupid friend. friend. Come on, friend. get out of my sight and let me see better things. Come. Okay, what is it? Why are you standing out here preening at yourself like one peacock? What's going on? I'm here waiting for my sweetheart to come. It should be here by now. I don't know why it's not here yet. Sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Chikama. Don't tell me you are still talking to Charlie. Uh -huh. Charlie, what is wrong with Charlie? <laughs> Kamwage, Charlie is a very, very handsome man. He lives in the city, Lagos. When he gets married to me, he will go to Lagos. He will take me out of this nonsense village life. I go there and live in affluence and wealth. You got half here. Chai, I pity you. How are you sure Charlie went to Lagos? What if he has stopped at Onichawa Asaba? Why are you allowing this small boy to play you like this, eh, Chikama? You're supposed to be my elder sister, yet you behave way beneath what I expect of you sometimes. Leave me like this. I love my life. Like Apple Marker like this. I like him, yeah? I like myself like this. At least I'm not you who is loving one man that doesn't care about her. I'm not 
to a man. I love myself. Help on my Don't go there. Don't just go there. Don't dare go there. Why? Because I've touched a nerve. Why are you angry, my dear? I will say it. Because you're loving Ekene, who is married to your friend, in Kiru. You're here then over, over self-pity. I go talk, I'm going queer. Sorry, oh. Nah. Sorry, Ndo. It's my fault. I was the one who asked you why you were standing out here behaving like a teenager. Eh? Are you leaving? Come back. Come back. Come on. Come, let me give you the way it is. Come back. Let me just tell you your story. Come back. Where are you going to? Come here. We are Cheba. Poknoza. I'm a boy. Come and stand here now. Hey, baby. Hey. My bobo, Charlie. Hey. My sweet potato. Hello. <laughs> the apple of my eyes. The only ice cream of my life. But baby, why did you keep me waiting now? Eh, why? I, I've been here waiting for you since. Why? I'm so sorry, baby. I stopped by by the road to pick up something very special for you. Eh? Hey. Yes. Hey, hey. What is that? Just hold on. Calm your nerves. Okay. Calm your nerves. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Here. From the heart that cares. Have this. From the heart that cares. What is this, Kwanu? What? Flower specially picked for my princess, you! What kind of... What did you pick for me now? What is this? What, 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 what is this now? I don't like it! Oh, you see what I hate about you, village girls? I picked up flowers for you, and you're not showing any form of appreciation. If it were in the city, the girls by now would be kissing me. In fact, I'm out of here. Hey, wait, wait, wait now. Uh -uh. Calm down. Charlie. Hey, Charlie, Charlie, my bobo. -bo. Don't worry. I'll take it. <laughs> now you come. Uh, uh, come, let me take it inside. I made a wonderful soap for you. Like it. After that, I will kiss you and kiss you until your lips will beg for mercy. Oh my God. Really? <laughs> yes. I trust you. Charlie! That's my baby. <laughs> one of us is being taken good care of. Thank you, my husband. I am very, very happy that you, you are here to visit me. Because for a long time now, nobody has come to visit me. Even my first wife, Chinaza. I hope uh, everything is okay. Everybody is fine. It might be all is well. Mm -hmm. What of Ekene? Ekene, my son, is fine. Uh, but there is something I, I find out all this why you, as you are speaking, you are sighing. Is there any problem? Well, you are sighing. Um, my husband, you see, I, there's something I really need to tell you. And it has been a burden in my heart for a very long time. And it's a secret I've kept for a very long time. And you have the right to know the truth before it gets too late. A secret you've kept so long and you want to tell me before it gets too late. I don't understand. What are you talking about? Um, honey, you know, I suffered so much after you married me. and I wasn't able to conceive. Even after five years, I couldn't conceive. So I had to do something before you and Chinasa, your first wife, will kick me out of the house. 
I don't, I don't like the sound of what you're saying. I, I don't like the sound of this story. What what are you driving at? Uh, is there Kenny, my son? What about him? Uh, Kenny is not is not your biological son. What? It's an affair I had with a stranger. Uh, that day I left the house going to that bush market. It's just that day. And me and the stranger. It's just, I didn't even, since that time I've not seen the stranger again. That man is a Kenneth's father. Am I dreaming? Am I dreaming? Who is here? Someone should come and take this woman away from this prison. Who is here? Come and take her away because I'll kill somebody here. I'll kill somebody here. What do you want? I came to ask my husband what he would like to eat. I want you to know I desperately hate you. I would like to kill you. Put my fingers on your neck and use the finger to break all the bones that are holding your neck. And I would like to see you sleep in bed. And the best thing that will happen to you is to get out of this place before you experience that. Pomenka, <laughs> you want to kill me? Eh? Okay. If killing me or uh, breaking my neck, as you said, who make you become the real man that you were before you went to jail. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and kill me. Don't patronize me. Don't you dare patronize me. I don't need it. I'm not even in the mood to patronize you. There's one thing you are supposed to realize by now. If you want to kill me, eh? Go ahead and kill me and become the real man that you are. Because as you see me, I'm even tired of this wicked world. What is wrong with me taking care of you? What's your problem? Oloma, I beg you with whatever I hold sacred, leave me alone. I don't need you. I don't want you. Just leave me. Forget anything that hold on together. That stupid thing that is called marriage. Forget that stupid thing that is called marriage that hold us together. I don't need it. You know why I'm telling you this? Because I don't want to kill you. Or you killing me because I know you are evil. See, there Omega. I don't know uh, what happened. I don't know how you did it and you came out and you came out of prison so soon. I don't know how you managed to do it all. This thing that brought you out, I believe is God. It's God that gave you a second chance. So you can correct all the wrongs you did against your own people. So you can do things, make things right. But as for you saying killing me or whatever, me leaving this house, <laughs> Chief Foya, it's not going to work. What, what is it? Look at your so-called first wife, Chinasa, ran away. And all those girls, they ran. I stayed behind to take care of my loving husband. Come on, get out of my you idiot. Who's your husband? Evil. You speak like woman, but you are evil. You are devil. Hey! Let's, huh? not, let's not be careful with my, uh, my hands. You can, you can tell, but we then turn on. I'm not an Okay, see, Be careful. Okay, see, Jay. Do charm of Thank you.
Ah, Nkiru, my friend, how are you today? If I am not fine, please, can I talk to you? You know I don't have too many people who like me in this village. Ever since I married my husband, especially girls of our ages. I have told you several times to stop, stop thinking about what people think about you. What should matter to you should be if you are happy or not. Eh? Easier said than done. My dear friend, everywhere I go in this village, all I see is young girls and parents looking at me as if I'm a devil. All because I married a man they all wanted. I did not beg to fall in love with Ekeneo. Neither did I beg him to propose to me. We both fell in love with each other and he proposed to me. You sound more disturbed than I've ever known you to be. Tell me, what seems to be the problem? Chief Omenka is back from prison. What? Chief Omenka is back? When? Today. Are you serious? That man was supposed to be in jail longer than this time now. Eh? That man used wicked charm to hold our people to ransom and hostage. Uh, he should have been in jail longer than this time now. Eh? I don't know. If I don't know anything, I don't know. <sighs> what about that his son? Um, what's that his name? Emeka? That one that took after his father's wicked ways and made life miserable for everybody in the village and beyond. He's dead. He died in prison. prison. <laughs> Thank God. Hey! Thank God. Finally. Finally, we will have peace of mind in this village. And. But Komo, you're still sad. What is it? If only I don't know. I don't know what my father's in-law return will mean to me now. My mother-in-law has made life very miserable for me ever since I got married to my husband. And now that Chief Omeka has returned, he's going to join the fray against me. Fray against you? Why do you think Chief Omeka will join in making life miserable for you? I don't know. I'm left alone in this world. The only person I have right now is my husband. And I love him so much. I don't know what... I don't know what will become of me. If he leaves me alone. How Kiro. I have told you to stop thinking like this. Eh? Stop thinking like this. Moreover, I think Chief Omenka must have learned his lesson in prison. Eh? He must be a changed man by now, you know. So stop thinking. I know so. I know so. Ne? Come, let's go and eat this yam that I prepared this morning. Okay. Eh, come. If I am not hungry, you made the food for yourself now. Don't worry. Oh, I don't want to eat. Come, let's eat it, my friend. Come. Don't worry. It will be enough for both of us. Come. Just um, wait a while, okay? Give me some time. Nkiru! 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 Huh. Sorry, it's like my wife is not around. I'll, I'll run around to fix things for you myself. Wife? 
But you never told me you were married, eh, Ofuma. My name is not Ofuma. My name is Ekene. Of course. Whatever you now call yourself is fine by me. Anything from you will be very nice. See, eh, I'm not even worried that you're married to another woman. It doesn't matter to me at all. Okay. I'll be back. Give me some time. Hello. Hello. Who are you looking for? Oh, I'm here with my husband, Ofuma. He just went inside to get me something to eat and drink. Ofuma? Who is he? Okay, um, there we go. Mm. Nkiru, you're here? I, I want to get something. Okay. Who's she? Nkiru, this is um... Oh, you're Nkiru. Ofuma's wife he just told me about. Well, my name is Kachi and I'm Ofuma's second wife. See, you don't need to bother yourself at all because I'm going to make you happy as a second wife. You are... what? What, what are you... eh? Isigini, what's this one saying? What, what are you talking about? Eh? What are you standing here doing? Brooding? Won't you make me dinner? Dinner? You want dinner from me or the new wife you just brought into our house? You know sometimes in Kiri you get so much on my nerves I feel like doing something rash. What's the meaning of this? Ekene, I should be asking you that question. I am the one that needs some explanation. I am the one that came home and met a strange woman in our house. Ekene, what is going on? Good question. And you were not patient enough to even ask my own side of the story before storming out? Oh, maybe I should have jumped on you and your new wife. Or perhaps make a very tasty meal for the both of you before you give me proper decorum. Shut up! Shut up before I, I, I slap some sense into you! Shut up! Kira, allow me to explain. I do not know this lady. I was just sitting there at the stream and there she walked in weakly and sickly. I wouldn't even have talked to her. I wouldn't even have noticed her were she not trying to drown herself. I had to rescue her. Now I believe God put me there at that time for me to rescue her. Else she would have been dead by now. Where is she from? I don't know. All she told me was her name was Kachi. And then, that I was her husband, Ofuma. I think that girl is sick. She, she, she has some memory loss or something. I think she needs help. Lovely. Beautiful. Do you want me to clap for you? I don't understand. What... No, I should be clapping for you, Ekene. Sometimes I wonder what runs through this brain of yours. You bring a girl with memory loss into our house? Someone you barely know? What if she's a criminal? What if she was she's caught from her family or her village? What if she has some sort of disease that could be could, could be Enough! Enough of this very unreasonable sarcasm. That girl there seems to me like someone who needs help. And we're going to keep her here until she gets herself together. That's whether you like it or not. Excuse me. Baby, you are beautiful. I know. Very, very pretty. Look <laughs> at your pointed nose. Eh? I feel <laughs> like 
<laughs> Chewing it, you're kidding me, it's too bad. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie. me. Charlie, la <laughs> Yes, playboy. You've been here since morning. Is it not about time you leave this place? Ah, ah. Hey, what is this now? Why are you here? Eh? Bia Chikama, please. Please. Don't just, don't just say anything. Respect yourself this evening, no? Do you understand me? Respect yourself or else I will do something both of us will regret. Charlie, wait. What you will do that will both regret? In this house, I'm a sister. In this same house. What the car? You are mad. You are mad. Baby, please, please, okay? Don't get angry with her. Just forgive her. Eh, hey, eh, hey, no, forgive her. No, let me do her once and for all now. Forgive her once, Kwano. This girl, in her place, she will do things you don't spend this out. And because you let her do, she keep doing them. No, eh? no, baby, just calm down, okay? No, don't do her any harm. You know, she's just a small girl. Eh? And you know what? You also have to consider the fact that she doesn't have... Charlie? <laughs> she doesn't have any Me one of her own here. Yes. Charlie? <laughs> Me thunder! Me thunder strike you there! In fact, me leprosy visit you right now. Jesus, Navas of Man City. Me, leprosy visit me. What did I do or see for you to rain these curses on me? Eh? If Unanya. Get out of this compound, Charlie. Yeah. Leave this compound right now. If our father were to be alive, would you still be here by this time of the day? Eh? Leave right now, Charlie. He is not going anywhere. Yes. He is my man. And very soon we'll get married. Once you are married, we'll stay here together. Because I'm the first in this house, it is my right. Do you understand? He's my man! Hey! Chikama, what is wrong with you? You are who is standing where? There is no way I can stay in any village after getting married. When you know I can go to big cities like Paris, London, and New York to enjoy myself and the rest. London! Paris! Of course not! <laughs> Thank you, lady. No wonder my sister is jealous of you. Yes, so. You know, because she don't be a big city babe. A very big one. <laughs> a very big one. I will make okay. you a model in this village. I'm telling you. Oh, you know okay. what we're going to do now? Mm -hmm. Let's go in front of your compound and have more fun. She should know by now that she cannot stop us from having fun. Yes! <laughs> Please, let's go, okay? Uh -uh. Baby, kiss me now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come and save my sister from this boy's hand. I have tried my best. Please, Lord, please. Hey! me as much as I do. I love you so much. And I'll always love you till I die. It's just that I'm worried about everything happening around me and my future. How do you mean? I can never. I am not a happy woman at all. I have been married to you for three years now. And I have never gotten pregnant for you. Not even a miscarriage. All through this period, your mother has been on my neck. And while I was hoping for the best, your father is so fast, unannounced. With all this development, I you expect not. me to be happy. I am not. I am not done yet, my husband. 
A lot has happened today that has made me apprehensive of what my tomorrow would be. Aside from the fact that your father returned from prison without announcing, we have a strange girl in our house. Again, okay, all this is too much for me now. It's too much for me. It's too much. Are you done now, my wife? Yes, I'm done. Now listen to me. And listen good. I loved you and that's the reason I married you. I still do love you. Which means I should be the one you're concerned about. Worry yourself about the way I relate with you and not my father my mother, brother, or even the whole world. I am the important person here, not the rest of the world. I love you, Kiro. I, I love you more than life itself. Can I love you too? I love you so much. But there is one thing I would want you to do for me so that I can have peace of mind. Anything for you to have peace of mind. Please send the girl away first thing in the morning. Just give her anything. Money, food, anything. Just send her away. I have a very nasty feeling about her. Is that what you want? Yes, that's what I want. Granted, Thank tomorrow you. she goes. Thank you so much. God will bless you for me. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you, Mother. I can Ekene, it shall never go well for you. Your life shall fill with misery all through. Joy. Joy shall never know your dwelling place. As for you, love man. Oh no, ma. your son shall be your death. Your punishment will soon come. For all the pains, all the sufferings that you have made me pass through since Omenka, my husband, was taken away to prison. You will all die a miserable death. You. You. You and your son. and pain to Uloma and her son Let them see a miserable and painful death. Uloma. Uloma and Dekele. May you never see peace in your eyes. May sorrow and pains be your death. Daily bread. You shall never know peace. 
God, I beg you to bring them a miserable and painful death. I thank you, God. Excuse me. I want to go in and rest from a wonderful, fun, loving day with my bobo. Charlie, bobo Lagos. You know, I don't have time for such talks. Chikama. Please come. Please come, let us talk. Let's talk. Talk about what? Eh? Please, if it's not important, just tell me now. Egota, because I, I need to go and sleep and have a wonderful night rest because tomorrow morning first thing i'm going to shop i want to go and buy some clothes with the money my bobo gave to me you got my shali bobo you understand it is important let us talk eh? i won't waste much of your time eh? Bikun. okay hmm. what in fact what is it what's the matter chica mom you know you're my loving sister and my only family. All I want is your happiness. That's all I want right now. Hope you know that. I know, but sometimes you can be very stubborn. You know that. Thank you for saying that. I know you may be thinking that I keep rejecting all my suitors because of Ekene. But that is not true. Yeah? It, is, it is a fact that I used to like Ekene. But that was before he chose someone I call a friend. All the feelings I have for him are now in the past. Hmm? Oh, if you say so, I am telling you the truth. What I want for you right now is for you to look for a very responsible man to marry. Not someone like Charlie who is clearly, clearly a playboy. Eh, hey, hey. eh, go Chai, hold it dear. Stop it. End of this don't even go there. Bia, 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 bia. If you keep saying stupid things about my bobo, my Lagos Charlie, one name, keep your mouth shut. Do you understand me? Shut up your mouth. Don't get me angry. Yo. Don't try it. Chikama, please. I beg you. I want you to look for a responsible man to marry. Charlie is not the one for you. Please. I beg you. Charlie will just use you and dump you like that. I am begging you, Biko, just go and bring one man, awful, just one. Bring him home, let me see him. Mfuya, my darling, I will just listen to what you have to say to me, wholeheartedly. I will listen to you. Do you understand? If not, rubbish. <laughs> A job ya joka, we work on anjo. Iyo ni meta roguru. Iyo jo a joka, a job ya joka. What kind of trouble is this? Am I doing good to sit down and watch the woman I love to leave me because of my sister? Hey, after all, when she was in money and married to a rich and powerful man, she didn't even look my way at all. I don't know what to do now, but I must find a way to get Grace to my side, even if it means kicking my sister out of my house and alive. Yes! I can't afford to lose Grace. No! Never! Never! 
Sister, how are you today? Fine, no, oh, welcome. Mm. You took so long today. What happened? You're right, sister. I would have been back earlier had Nkiri not come to visit me just by the time I was running up work. <sighs> That's one in Kiroka. What has she come to do this time? Oh, she came to cry upon your shoulders for a child that's over three, over three years, isn't it, sister? Please be gentle with her. You know she's my friend and I like her. Besides, after the death of her father, you know she has no close relative to call her own. Hey, sometimes eh, I used to wonder the kind of person you are. Are you sure we have the same blood through these veins? Me and you, I don't think so. Because do you remember that this girl went away for so long and she just came back to the village and snatched the most handsome man in this village? You know what I mean? sense. Up here? Mm -hmm. Is that her fault? Is that enough reason to crucify her? Will you shut up your mouth? Me sure, uh, do you know I was here on my own? No? Having my day wonderfully made, it be a man common sense who can boo rubbish of that to be getting killed. Mind yourself. No. Chica, man. I like Tekene and we were friends. I was the one hoping that he was going to propose to me and marry me before he chose Nkiru. So should I kill myself because of that? Good question. If you go, Nkiru, let me ask my own. Answer me. Since you, you lost that Tekene, how many young men have been here to ask for your hand in marriage? <laughs> hey, hey, no, that one is good. Even me, even me. How many of them have been here to, 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 to ask for, for marriage? Ask me the question. <laughs> I don't understand you. Are you trying to tell me that after a kid, I will not see another man to marry me? Or you for that matter? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not laughing, it's not funny. What I am saying simply is that that girl in Kivu is not a good girl. She's ill luck. I don't like that girl. I like her, yeah? I don't like that girl. Anyway, she's my friend and I like her. I don't care what anybody says. Period. I like her. She's my friend. I wonder. If the same blood was in our face. I don't know where they're from, oh. Who are you? And what are you doing there? Uh, I'm sorry, ma. You must be my husband's mother. But I did not notice very quickly. Please forgive me, ma. You, you said husband's mother? Yes, ma. He told me to wait for him while he looks for a place for me to sleep. Oh, what nonsense are you talking about? This is my son's house. What, 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 what nonsense is that? Me, husband's mother, how? What nonsense are you talking about? Eh? Mama, good evening. Who is this stranger? What is she doing here? Mama, I don't know. Your son, he can brought her into this compound. But I think she has to leave now. Leave? No. I'm going nowhere. My husband, Ofuma, told me to wait for him here. He told me he would never let me out of his sight, so I'm going nowhere. I have to wait for him. You are Kachi, right? Yes. Look, stop this nonsense game you are playing. I'm not enjoying it at all. My husband's name is not Ufoma. His name is Ekene. Look, you have to leave right away. No, I'm not going anywhere. Whether you have to leave. leave. I'm not going. Whether his name is Ufoma or Ekene, I don't care. All I know is he told me to wait for him and that is what I'm doing. I'm not going anywhere. I have to wait for my husband. Where are you from? I don't know. You see, my dear, I think you're suffering from memory loss. You don't even know where you're from. Look, you have to start living now, okay? Please. I'm not going. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I have to wait for you. I have to leave. Hey, what do you say her name is? Kachi. Kachi. And you say she has memory loss? Mm. Shy. Sorry, oh. Then, um. Hey, then she will have to go and stay with me until she regains her memory. Mama, Mama what? Can't you pity her? A young girl that you don't even know who she is. 
Oh, my she cannot stay. I cannot say she has to leave now. The child no gas is off. I cannot say she should leave. But it can go. What are you talking? A stranger here. Don't you have pity? Uba, let's be doing it. I'm only lost get tiger. Shy, you don't. Laba. Shy. No more at all. Hey. Mm. Uh, eat, oh. Thank you, Mom. Uh -huh. You know you have memory loss. Do you know what this thing is? Chai. Drink this one. Drink, 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 drink. Chai. Thank you, Mom. Mm. Eat, eat, oh. Say it. Chai, memory loss. Thank you, Mom. Yeah. Drink, drink all this one. out here singing like a mad woman eh? how many times have i warned you to stop coming out here and sit and sing as if my house is a cemetery what is the matter with you please leave me let me wallow you my misery and pains misery and pains are you talking about the misery and pain you transferred into my life ever since you came here to stay with me Obina, please leave me please if you want me to leave you alone why don't you take your useless life out of my house? Chinasa, leave me alone with your cost life. Leave me alone. Obinna, Aburo's moments. In Anuya, if you want me to leave your house, throw me out yourself so that I can live in peace. So you want me to throw you out so that your evil cause will be upon my head? No, God forbid. You will leave my house. With your hands and leg. I don't blame you. Anna Matari Cha Cha Cha. When my husband was there, you only spoke with me with nothing less than respect. Because if you ask for anything, I do provide it for you. Don't make me get more angry with you. Don't make me get more angry with you. Who do you use to give money? Who? How much have you ever given to me? You were married to a rich man and a powerful man for that matter. Yet, you never did anything for me as your only brother. Obina, you are an ingrate. Emania, you are an ingrate. I don't blame you. I only blame God who has thrown me into the goat ass, who has forsaken me, who has given people like you space to insult me, Mumwa. May God punish you for me. Did you ever give me enough money to open up a business and make more money? Did you send me to school? Do you? All you ever gave me was mere pittances. Nothing worthy enough for me to use for any good thing. Useless woman. Stupid woman. Hey, my love. Morning. Hello. My dear, welcome. Thank you. Why are you standing out here with Cutlass? Don't tell me I'm just going out to aunt. No, my love. Uh, I just came back not too long ago. So, where's the animal you caught today, Jerry? I didn't catch anything today. Uh, Grace, it appeared as if uh, all the animal ran away when the moment they saw me coming to the bush. You know. 
na wow. Some evil people has taken away all your locks since they move into this compound. God will so punish them one day for us. My dear, amen. Amen. Oh. Please, let's go inside, Jerry. Let me serve you the delicious food I cooked for you. This evil people. Useless woman. Yes. Stupid woman. Let's go inside. How do I look? <laughs> Where are you going? How do I look first? Or how do I, do I going? How do I look? Yeah. I don't know what to say, Chikama. Where are you going dressed like this? I've not seen you dressed like this before. Coming from you, that's a compliment. I know you're, I am sweet, beautiful, and tasty. Hey! Chikama, why did you become a food that is tasty? Huh. Okay, oh. So where are you going, please? Okay. I'm going to see a kene. Eh? Which a kene? Which other kene if not she from a castle? I was hoping you were talking about another kene. Okay, so what are you going to say a kene for? Don't worry your head about that, my darling. Let me just go and come back. I will give you the rest of the details after I'm meeting. You're joking, right? As in, this is one of your one of your jokes. Don't Have get you? me angry. I don't want to get angry, if Ifunanya. Am I a joker? Do I look funny to you? Eh? Please, please, please. By the time I go to that company and come back, my dear, you will know that my future is so bright. I will be in the about that. I don't understand a word of what you just said now. Please, Chikama, don't go and cause trouble for us, oh. I am begging you in the name of God. Be con. <laughs> I am taking my destiny in my hands by the time i get back you will understand my dear sister for now excuse me <laughs> You know, I have a very big cost in the house to take care of before I could come out. Obina, this thing is getting out of hand. What is it now? Seriously, I can't keep taking this nonsense from you. I won't take it again. Hello. Do you want me to hang myself and die? You had better get a rope and hang yourself because I'm going to leave you in this relationship. I cannot keep dating you if you continue to keep that dirty, wicked witch you call a sister in your house. I cannot do. Grace, hmm? she's a cross I have to carry. People will curse me if I kick her out of my house like that. You know she's still my sister. Your sister, my foot. Wait, Obina, answer me. When she was married to that rich husband of hers, what did she do to you as a brother? Did she do anything in your life, anything tangible for you as a brother? Answer me. You see, that's what annoys me about her. She did nothing for me, and now she expects me to do everything for her. See, I am your fiancé, the only girl you swore to take care of. I cannot be sharing you with that witch you call a sister. I need to know that today. No, no, I will not do it. I will get rid of her very soon. So that you can come back to my life and take your rightful place again. Eh, you had better. You had better get rid of her. Ah, I can't be taking this nonsense. So this is the last time I'll complain about this. I cannot even come to your house as my boyfriend. Because the wound from my body stinks and I don't want it to even stain me. I'm sorry. My love, it's me you've been now. Hmm? Your love. Hmm? Smile now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Give me that so kiss good. again. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. Open up, open up, open up. Chiru, chiru. What is this smell coming out from your mouth like? Ah. My 
my mouth? Smell? Yes! Your mouth stinks. The smell from your mouth can kill a newborn baby. It smells like the wound under your sister's leg. Pico, don't try and kiss me next time again. Fear, I'm out of here. Okay, Mom. What are you doing here? What do you think you're doing keeping that girl in the house? Do you know who she is? What is your problem? See, you're going You don't have any right whatsoever to quarrel me in this compound. The last time I checked, this is still my husband's house. Mama, I have not... No, your house. Don't worry. You have no rights here. Get away with him. I have not come here to quarrel with you. I've only come to find out why... You have decided to ask a girl I told squarely to leave this compound to stay in your quarters. Well, I don't care. I like her and I want her to stay here with me. Can you be arguing with grandchildren now? Huh? I wouldn't have been talking about somebody staying with me. Oh, so this is what all of this is all about? Because we don't have children at the moment, eh? Eh? It's the moment. Three years. To you, I can is moment. Three years. Okay. So you want uh, your wife to get to 80 years? For you to know that three years is big enough for you to give me two healthy, beautiful grandchildren in this house. No, no, three years. God. At God's time, we will have our... Hey, you're not know God. You're a man. Men like you do the right thing at the right time. Even a fool on the, on the street. That is a man. You know the right thing to do at the right time. As you okay, Or Marian. I know where you're driving at, but I won't go there with you. Hmm. I will never live in Kiru for another woman, whether you like it or not. Okay, live and see happier. Don't live out. All I'm saying that you should do the right thing at the right time. I will get a man. Kaebura. Mama, let me tell you, I don't care. In fact, keep her in your house if you like. Do whatsoever you like with her. But let me tell you, anything that comes out of it, you will carry it with your head. Because I've washed my hands of you and that girl. Hey, wash your hand. Wash your leg. In fact, wash the thing. Camera my arm. If it will even do a better job. Is there something for me to meet? I'm hungry. I want to go out, please. Hurry up. Do you want to go out? I thought you came in here to tell me that your mother has agreed to throw that girl out. No, she hasn't. I left her when she started her, her talk about childlessness and all of that. I knew it. Isn't it clear why she has brought that girl? She wants to make her your new wife. She wants you to get her pregnant. What's the matter with you, Giru? Have you been going out to smoke something that turns your head upside down? And I am not smoking anything. In fact, I have never been saner than I am now. You are shouting, woman. Yes, let me shout. I will even shout louder if that will make you listen to me. Again, how could you go out there and bring home a strange girl into our house? Would you have been happy if I had gone out there and brought in a strange man and give you all sort of flimsy excuse that I was trying to save him from dying? Who are you implying? Again, it's very simple. You brought that girl here on purpose. All this your pretentious talk of you not knowing her doesn't go down well with me at all. You want to make her your new wife. I can't do this. I won't stand here and listen to this trap from you, Kiro. I'm out of here. Ekene, you're not going anywhere. You're not going to move an inch. Not until you look into my eyes and tell me that you did not bring that girl here on purpose. I did not bring that girl here on purpose. Then let us leave this place. Let us leave this compound and go somewhere else to stay. We have been living in this place for three good years now, Ikena. It's a guinea. Did your mother bury your placenta in this compound? When are we going to get our own place to stay? When? We have been staying here because my father was thrown into jail at the same time you and I met. But if getting a new place will give you peace, I will do that, okay? Okay, Ikena, it's not okay. Ikena, it is not going to be okay not until we leave this compound and go and look for somewhere else to stay. I am tired of all these consistent issues, quarrels, I'm tired of this compound, I'm tired of everybody, I'm tired of everything! I can't, I'm tired! Shout in Kiruka! God, what was... Why is everyone going crazy? What is happening to me? When did my life become so completely useless? 
I had the great chief of Menka. I was in my powers as the richest and most powerful man in this community, taken away from me by the people. I have spent time in prison and now in my old age. I am learning that the sons I taught were my are not actually mine. I am just finding out that the great chief of Menga is terror. Ah, this is too much. How am I going to face people when they all finally realize that I'm just nothing but an empty vessel? Mm. Maybe I have to end it all. Yes. What use is my life if I am considered nothing before everybody? I have to end it. Um, this is your food. I want you to eat and be strong. You see, by the time you're done with this food, I'll be able to tell you about your other wives. No, to tell you the reason why they ran away. And when I finish, you come to understand the reason why I'm the only beautiful and loving wife that you have in this whole wide world. Hmm? Despite the fact that you cost I and again, there's so much pain in this house. So much pain. But I'm ready to forgive you. Because I want you to be the wealthiest, in fact, the richest in this community. Eat your food. You know what? Hmm? I say you should eat your food. You know what? How can I treat the woman I love so shabbily? That was what the man that married to my sister, Chief Omenka, the most wicked man in human race, was known for. No, I can't treat a woman I love like that. No. I will go and see Joyce. Maybe she will have something to say. Yes. At least she may be give me a better advice on what to do. Yes. I think that is the best thing to do. Help you. Uh, I'd like to see Ekene's mom. Is she around? Where is she? Oh, you mean my mother in law? Well, she went inside to give her husband, my father in law, some food. She'll soon be here, don't worry. Your mother in law? Who are you married to? Ofuma. I'm um, sorry, Ekene. We have been married for a long time now, you know. You, uh, 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 you, uh, uh, hey, uh, uh, that's my mother in law. Again? Uh, what is going on? I'm yeah? What is going on here? Chica, ma. What is going on? What are you doing here? Uh, Mama, I, I, I saw a canal driving by the road, so I said, come back a leg here. I should come and greet you. I uh, thank you. Oh, you greeted me. And it's good that you saw him going out. He's not here. Go, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mama, Mama, sorry, oh. sorry. This lady here says she's a Kenne's wife. Is it true? She came nele. He said he saw a Kenne going and came to greet me. He came and said he thank you. Laban! 
Why do you let Pock nosing into uh, things that, that does not concern you? Eh? Mama, it, it, it's not like that, too. It's not like that. It's just that she being a Kenneth's wife. Uh, we didn't know when a Kenneth took a new wife, Mama. That's why I said I should. Hey! Ah. Don't allow me to curse you. A man like you. Mama, leave me. Come, get, get out. Leave me. Come, not stop. Look at her. Look like your mother. Follow. Back, wally, back, wally, back. Follow. Follow me. What nonsense. Very killing. I'm going to go Where are you going this early morning dressed like this? I'm going to the farm. Farm? You're going to the farm dressed like this, brother? Since when did the farmland turn into an office? Well, I am not your husband or your boyfriend. So please, stop embarrassing me. Brother. I am not embarrassing you or harassing you. I just want to know where you are going dressed like this this early morning. Abukwe for John one day, you can one day born a general total. Patience. I've warned you. I don't have any explanation to this. Abmaka. I've done anything to get you angry. Please forgive me. Uh, Biastera, whenever you are with me, you should stop this acting. Stop all this acting. I'll do it. Okay, Ma. It's just that I spent a lot of time trying to put myself into this role you prepared for me. And I forgot how to be my real self. That is the problem you have. I warned you from the onset. Not to forget yourself. Just put yourself into this people's life and tell them apart. You shouldn't have spoken to that loud mountain girl in the first place. I'm sorry, Ma. I guess I got carried away with the whole acting thing. It will never happen again. Stella, you have to do very fast. Tia Ekena and Nkiru apart fast. We don't have time. Before we lose our grip. Eh? Okay, Ma. I'm ready to do whatever you've asked of me. But I'm so sure everything is working out for us as far as your plan is concerned. Better. I can really love Nkiru so much. So you have to go and execute this plan. That is why I asked you to start it. You're wasting so much time. I don't like it. Ma, I'm equal to the task as far as my balance is at the ready. Uh, your money and your, 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 your bonus is not my problem. I have all of them. But go and execute your, your plans, this, this project first. Once you execute it, come and collect your money. If that is not my problem, have them all uh, here. Okay, Ma. Consider Inkiru a past in Ekene's life. By the time I'm done with them, you will know that I'm not just an actor. But an actor with class and talent. Uh, act away and not. Act it very well and tear them apart. I'll go and I'm your act now. I don't want to stand another place. Go and execute it fast and come and pick your money, oh? That's all. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Just go straight. Concentrate. Yes, ma'am. See you again, yeah? Sorry, sir. 
I didn't know you've been here standing all this while. Let me excuse you. Thank you. Sir. You and they can destroy me. Or have you forgotten? Especially you caused the action that led me to jail. That's not true, sir. Really? Ah. Have you forgotten the past so soon? Or maybe you've decided to rewrite the course of history. Eh? You broke my heart and it caused me to lose my son, my wealth, my power and everything. Chief, that's not true. That's not true. You came after me years ago with lustful desires. Knowing full aware that you were as old as my father. I fell in love with your son, Ikene. You decided to destroy our love. But that was truncated by God. Not me or Ikene. You know that, that before you, I've always gotten any girl or woman I want. No matter how she looks. But you broke that chains. And I will never forget that. So I belong to one man. Mm. And one man alone. And that man is Ekene, your son. Can you please just forget about the past and allow us to move into the future amicably? You don't have to forget this. The future is built by our past. We cannot just wake up and wish the past away. It's not possible. Sir, I know you don't like me. And I know your wife, my mother-in-law, doesn't like me either. What exactly do you want from us? Oh, good question. Very good question. You really, really want to know what I want from you? Yes, sir. You just came back from the prison yesterday and the whole compound has turned upside down. Tell me what you want from me so I know where I stand. Oh, thank you. You don't need to talk much. I want you to know that I hate you. I hate you with passion. I hate you more than anything in this world. You caused me to go to jail and be the man I am today. You reduced me to nothing. All I want you to do is to get out of my compound. Get out of my compound. Get out! No now, why now? Ekene, Ekene, this village, you want to marry another girl? Hey! Look at me now, eh, Chikama. I'm going to mock it. I'm, I'm, I'm all right now. Why would you all Ekene, why, without telling me why? Why? Somebody I don't even know, that guy, look at that girl, look at me. Hey, Ekene, I don't blame you. Is this, is that no sense of Naya? Hey, Mbana, I'm so angry right now. Hey, Chica, ma, calm down. Come to her. Just calm down. Go inside. Freshen up. And you think of what to do. Because I am so angry right now. I'm so angry. I'm boiling. No, 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 no. I will think of Mbana. I will do something later. No, oh, no, I'm not happy. Ifunanya. Hey. Ifunanya. Can we just get no self? If you know you! If you know you! Chikama, what is it again? Won't I have rest for you in this house? Eh? If you know you! What? If you know you! Yes! We are fools! I don't understand you. What are you talking about? If you know you! We are big fools! In fact, where we should be now is with the goats and pigs. We should be there with them, eating and, and, and dancing with them right now. Because, in fact, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Hi. Chikama. I am not a fool. Will you tell me what you're rambling about? And 
if it's not even important, I will go and do what, continue with what I was doing before. Ekene has another wife. What are you talking about? You heard me. It's a shaggy. You heard what I just said. Now, 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 now. Ekene has another wife. While you were here busy protecting Ekene and Kiru's marriage, he has gone beyond you to get himself a good girl as a wife. In fact, you see, is she good? One nonsense girl as a wife. That's not possible, Joe. How, how, how can Ekene get married to another girl? But I was with Nkiru yesterday. She didn't tell me anything about her husband getting a second wife. She just told me about her father-in-law being back from prison. That's not Nkiru. She wouldn't tell you. Why would she tell you? She knows that Ekene likes you. She's aware. You know that we lost her parents and you went and stayed with grandma. You would have been Ekene's wife by now. Yes! You would have been his wife. She is so fortunate to, to meet that guy uh, uh, where and around and married him. She will tell you that's your friend, Nkiru. The nonsense, Nkiru. She's your friend. She, she will not tell you. She can't tell you. She will tell you. This is And die. Drink that water and die. Stupid woman. Hey. Useless. This is just rainwater. I was the one who placed this bucket here two days ago when it was raining. So that I could see water to drink since you have bound me from drinking water inside the house. Newscaster, thank you for your long explanation. But I want you to know something. Between this roof, the cup, the bucket, and the water, and the ground. Which of them is yours? Which of them is yours, Sinasa? Tell me. Oh, none of them is mine. I forgot. Oh, it was a mistake. I forgot that I could not drink water inside this compound. Pico, buy a long one name. Okay, then. I'm in my what is it now? What have I... What? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Chimo! 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 What is it? Chimo! What is it? Eh? What have I done, Obin? Enne? 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 What is it? What is it? Why is everybody looking at me as if I am naked? Oh, what have I done wrong? Huh? Nikiru, what is the meaning of this? Why are you acting so childish? You want to leave me. If you leave me, where would you go? Ekene, how is that your business? Oh, so you think because I don't have close relatives that I would rather stay here and die in the hands and wickedness of your family? You thought wrong, my husband. Listen to me. I won't condone this act of childlessness from you. I am getting sick and tired of it. Okay? What is all of this? Thank you. This is the last time I will talk to you about this. I don't want this rubbish. Thank you. Ekene, thank you very, very much. I have realized that I have to save my life. Your mother doesn't love me. That's because I haven't been able to give you a child. As if I am God who gives children. Your father returned from the prison today and has told me that he hates me and wants me to leave his compound. What have I done to deserve all this maltreatment? What? Kiru, I am your husband. And I love you. Is that not enough? It is not enough. It, can, it is not enough. It will only be enough if you come with me now and let us leave this compound. I what am... is it? Must we stay here and live together? Must we? I will leave this compound. But not like this. I keep telling you my business, my everything, they are all tied to this village. I cannot What are your father's businesses, Ekene? 
for a second. Be very truthful to yourself. What is it that you have in this compound that is truly yours? What is it that you have in this compound that doesn't have your father's or your mother's signature? Only me, Ekede. Ekede, only me. If you value me, you will come with me now and let us leave this compound. I am not going anywhere because I am not mad. Now, will you come? Let's go inside and reason together and plan our future in the right atmosphere. I expected so much from you. I thought you would be my true love. I thought you would stand by me no matter what. But I have seen. I have seen that I will always come second to whatever it is that is tied to this compound. Again, I am going in there to pack my things and leave this compound. Thank you. It is over between me and you. You have refused to become a man. You have refused to grow up. I am leaving you for good. No, you won't. Where are you taking me for? Uh... I don't know how you did it. But I know you are responsible for Nkiru living again. <laughs> my right. Um, my love, honey, you see, I will do anything possible to keep my family happy. In fact, Ekene, my son's happiness is very, very important to me. That girl wasn't in the plan. I believe him happier or not. I tried. Uh, I can see. I'm in your hands now. You're in control of everything. I want to ask you, where is Chinas and my wife and my other wives? I mean, what is going on? Ah, nothing is happening now. You see, after you were thrown uh, inside the prison, Chinas and the other wives left because uh, there was no, no more money for them to use. Everywhere was dry. They decided to leave. But the younger ones I know are still with their parents. They should still be in their father's houses. But Chinasa, honestly, I don't know where she is. I see. Why didn't you run away like they did? Because the villagers and the police took away everything I have. They ripped me off everything before I, I entered prison. Why didn't you run away with the rest? I, I'm saying because I knew that one day you will come back home, okay? You come back to possess what rightfully belongs to you. That's why I said. And secondly, uh, since you've come to understand that uh, Emeka, uh, Chinasa's son, is not your biological son, uh, I knew that you would need your loving wife, uh, Uloma, to stay back to take care of this whole compound. Eh? I stayed back to take care of the house. Until my husband comes back, I was up where my alarm. So, what are you hoping to gain from all this? <laughs> you see, what I'm hoping to gain? You see, um, honey, if you can uh, cast your mind back a little bit, hmm, you will remember that. You gave Chinasa your first wife and the maker her son all your love. And Ipu had so much freedom. That was why you were treating us, the other wives, as if um, we were toys, we were like, as, like trash, as if we meant nothing because Ipu had all the chance. And the other reason is because the old Lama then was meek and gentle. Oi, Loma. So, I, I, when you were in prison, I, I, now, I now reflected and, and reasoned and told myself that um, 
the meek and gentle Loma did not help them out these matters. So I decided to kill that old Loma. This what you are saying now is the new one. Hi. Hey. That old one was killed and buried. And I'm sure where they buried that old Loma, the bones uh, have rotten now. Oh no, Kafoko therefore. Uh, but you see this old Loma now. This new old Loma stands to gain happiness. The important thing in this old Loma's life is her happiness and her peace. Anybody or anything, subject or substance, that try to make me unhappy. I will crush I will crush it. So that is how it is. Uh, excuse me, you said anyone. Do you mean me inclusive? Uh, yes, now. Yes, you Including you. I said anybody, thing or substance. If you try to get on my way of happiness, I mm. crush again. Oh, to attack what is where? Anyway, but you have an option. No? Um, if you can accept Ekene, my son, as your only biological child, and the heir, Mba alone, I'll show you love and, and uh, help you and make sure that you become the richest, the happiest, the wealthiest in this community. Is a promise the new Lama is giving you. I don't know. Oh, Only no. in that condition. No. If you cooperate with me and watch your double. Hey, honey, my love. Good morning, my love. Good morning, Adam. What are you doing here? I came oh. to see you. And I brought food for you. Thank you. Are you not supposed to be working your parents' farm land today? Actually, I was on my father's maid's land before, before I sneak out to come and see you. Wait. I hope I haven't done anything to, to deserve, deserve all this rubbish you're asking me. No, Ada, you will not understand. You know this land gave me this land to work because you know that I'm responsible. Uh -uh. I don't understand what you're trying to tell me. I want you to leave because before the owner of the land comes and meets you here to cause me to lose my job. Not to understand, Uzo. When did my being around you become a cause for you to lose your respect? We can always meet anywhere else to talk, not here in this land. Your place of work. <laughs> you say that with so much joy. Ada, I work as a laborer to gather enough money to go to the university. There is no much work in this village. And yes. But there is work in the city. If you could just leave this village and come with me to the city, then maybe things will move faster for us. <laughs> What's cool? You're funny. I'm still in the village. Ahead now, where else do you want me to be? I'm running my business here and looking at everything. You don't mean it. You know, in town. Okay, come to the corner by Uko Dala and park somewhere around there. Okay, I'll be waiting. I'll give you a while. All right. Chikama, what is it? Why, why on earth are you stalking me? Why? <laughs> I like it when you're angry. You know? Even though I know you're happy seeing me here today. What do you want? Ekene, you know what I want. I'm happy we are meeting outside your house today. Let's go somewhere and have fun. Nam, you got like it. I promise you. Can you stop this madness? Ekene, this is no madness. Kick out madness. That you should come, let's go and have fun. See madness. How is it madness? It's not madness. Let's go and have fun. Simple. Chikama. Hmm. Do you remember 
I dated your sister Nebechi before I met in Kira and got married to her. So if I had gotten married to your sister, this is the exact same way you'd be coming on to me. Uh -huh. You are not married to my sister. She doesn't even like you. If she knows, she doesn't have an issue with it at all. She will not be angry. Of course, she wouldn't be. I'm sorry. I'm a married man. I can't have anything to do with you. Get out. Can I don't even know why I'm coming on to you. Yeah? You don't know. I want to help you. How? I saw you in my dream. In that dream, I saw you and Inkiru, your wife, struggling to have children for several years. Me, I just came in blank. I began to get pregnant. Left, right, center. I feel my leg. Just chicken man. Okay, they come there. I'm not done now. Let me finish. In that dream, you touch me. I get pregnant. You walk by me. I get pregnant. You pass by me. Pregnancy. You know. Chicken man. I give you 10 seconds to get out of here now, else I will get into this car and crush you to death. Are you mad? What is wrong with you? I really pity the man that will take you in as a wife. Get out of my sight! I said, get out of here. Hey, God. I thought you, you get pregnant. I look at you, you get pregnant. You will go again, I'm pregnant. Want here. Okay. Yeah, 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 kill me. Those room gets me angry. I'm not in the mood. I will just slap you now and here. I'm not joking with you at all. What are you doing here, buddy? Eh? Oh, if they're ever to come and insult my sister again, you've come to mock her after three years. What are you doing? 
I do here? No, what are you doing here? Chikama, please. It's not you I came to see. I came to see your sister Ifunaya. Where is she? Yes, what is it? Ifunaya. What is it in Kiro? Uh, why are you talking to me in such a tone? What do you want from me? What's the problem? I will appreciate it if you will just turn back and leave my company now, never to return here again. Eh, hey! Did you hear that? What's the Charles, okay. Turn your back and leave here. Just come back here again, fake friend. If you know, please, if I have wronged you, in the spirit of our friendship, tell me so that I can at least apologize, please. Apologize? What exactly do you want to apologize for? Is it for betraying me? Or for treating me as if I am nothing? What? What in God's name are you talking about? I am confused. You went and get a girl for a Kenneth to marry as a second wife without telling me. Why you know that I allowed the Kenneth to marry you? He would have been my husband by now. I had I not gone to my grandparents' place after the death of our parents? If you know, yeah. I thought we have been through all this before. You told me yourself that you had forgotten everything about Ekene the moment I married him. Oh, shut up! Shut up! I left Ekene for, for you. I didn't know that you, you, you were going to get another wife for him to marry. Or else I would have gladly jumped on the idea of marrying him. I see. So you had your eyes fixed on my husband after all these years? <laughs> Nkiru. Leave my company now, before I do something both of us will regret. Leave! It's okay. I'll leave. But before I leave, I have something to tell you that will make you very happy. I did not get a wife for Ekene. I don't know the wife you're talking about. Secondly, I have left him. You cannot have him for yourself. You can marry him and keep him for yourself. Thank God I did not come with my box. I thought I had a friend that I call a sister that I can trust and stay with. But it's okay. Nkiru has left the Kenne. Ekene is so free. Very <laughs> <Man is> free. <laughs> I'm so happy. Everything went smoother than I expected. Oh, oh, thank God. I'm happy to hear that, Ma. Hmm. What can I do to keep making you happy? You don't need to do it until you finish the job. Thank you. That was all. It's okay. You did so well. What Say, is this, Ma? That's the balance of your money. This is good. You did well. Mm -mm. Ma, yeah? this money is incomplete. It is short by 20,000 naira. Have you forgotten that we agreed to do this project uh, for three months? But we did it shorter than the time we agreed. So that's the balance now. Ma, Ma, please don't get me angry. I have done everything you asked me to do and I did that because of this money. So please, pay me in full or there will be trouble. Yes, sir. What can you do? I can expose you, ma. Oh. I can tell the whole world how you planned to chase your husband's first wife away and all the lies you've been telling him. So please, don't push me to the wall. Uh <laughs> <laughs> this game is too intelligent. Do you know you're smart? Hey! Look at how you just passed this little test. You look so scared, did you? Just, you got very annoyed. You're too much. <laughs> you're much afraid. You're intelligent. This was a task? Yes! Ah, what do you think it was? Ah, so you are. You're talking as if you wanted to fight. <laughs> I just tested this. Uh, just that I will know that. 
when I'll give you another assignment that you'll be able to defend yourself. You're, you're too intelligent. In fact, the next job you're going to do for me, I'll pay you three times what I paid you now. Oh? Good. Thank, you. Yeah. Thank you very much, ma. Uh, uh, you wanted to show me that you can talk? <laughs> That's it. That's me. Let me go and bring your ball and say, oh, good girl. Too Thank you, ma. <laughs> Uh-huh. I might as well tell you that I went after Ekene. You know, I went after him to sleep with me. Uh -huh. Even aside from that self, I've been pursuing that guy for a long time before I married your stupid, stupid girlfriend. Yes. You're supposed to be my sister for God's sake. Uh -huh. That your sister. Does that mean I should not allow you to throw our golden chance into the gutters? Because you want to keep one stupid friendship. Eh? Hey, I have just realized what a fool I've been. The moment you told me about Ekene having a second wife. And now you know. And you made me bring up all the past emotions I have laid waste in the past. Ah, ah, that was a grievous mistake. I need to go and look for Nkiru and apologize to her. Eh? Isigini? Apologize to her for what? That makes you a fat and bigger fool. Apologize for talking bad to her. She does not deserve any of that. Eh? That girl has gone through a lot in the past. She doesn't deserve all this. She's a good girl. Suit yourself. Suit, Momogi. As for me, Moa, I am going inside to go dress up. I meet Ekene, you know, he's free, free like a bird. I am going to meet him. To make him my husband. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. I thought that you want to come and tell me how to do with Grace and get up back to love me like before. Yes. Please, we can stay out here. I'm in a hurry. Eh? And you know I'm still going to check my traps before I could get back home. So you want us to stay here under this hot sun, in this open space and talk? When we have this big house? My parents are not around. Let's go. Joyce, I don't understand what you are saying. Obina, you are too slow. And you see, that is why I can't even handle my friend. You don't know how to handle a woman. Joyce, all I want to know is how to get my woman back and stop this. Obina, so you cannot forget Grace for a second, eh? Forget about her for now. And come, let's go inside and have some fun. Me and you? Had fun? God forbid. Do you know you are my wife to be best friend? And your so-called wife to be does not understand what it means to have you. Talk more of you marrying her. Eh? Obin, are you blind? Obin, are you blind? Stop this. Oh, I see. This is a test from Grace, right? She think I will fall for your tricks. Obin, you're very stupid though. Who is playing games with you? Eh? In that case, you are sick. Very sick indeed. I thought you were a good friend. I don't know this how stupid you are. Obina, see, I'm very sorry, okay? Come. Stop this! Obina. Instead of me to lose Grace, I'd rather lose Evan. Do you hear? Even a mother cannot stop me from, from Grace, except by the grace of God. Back from the prison, you didn't even care to come and look for me. Why? 
Shilasa, how dare you step into this compound with your filthy feet? You want to come and infect us with this deadly disease? Eh? Uh, Levi. Levi. Hey! Leave her alone. Leave her alone. No! She has to go! She doesn't have any place in this compound again. Let her carry herself and leave! It's ever! I want her to stay. So that she will tell me why she lied to me before I went to the prison. Sure. Why she gave me another man's child as my own. God will punish you. God will punish you for this evil. What? Lied about what? About my son, Emeka. You think I will not find out? You think I will not find out that Emeka was not my son, but a bastard? No. Mama, Emeka was not a bastard. Emeka, my late son, was your flesh and blood. Remember you were my love. My first love. Or have you forgotten you married me a virgin? We all know the truth. You're not hiding anything again. Carry your evil, evil son. So he, he's dead. Go! You are a liar and an evil woman. You. What are you doing here? Oh. You mean why I didn't die after you tried to kill me in there? Chief. This woman is an evil woman. She's a witch. She chased all your wives away so that she can have access to all your properties and wealth. Emeka's mom here was the last to leave. And that's because she didn't want to leave. But this evil woman, this witch poisoned her. And that poison rendered her stupid and slow. And that's how she was able to leave this house. Jesus Christ. Mom. Is any of this true? No. Don't trust her. Don't believe her. Look at this girl. Who is she? That was all an act, Ekene. I've been working for this evil woman for some time now. And you know, she enjoys telling me everything she's done and about to do. That's why I know so much. You are psychologically mad. Huh? Are you sure of what you've just said, young girl? Chief, I'm very, very sure. This woman lied about everything. Emeka is truly your son. She lied when she said Emeka isn't your son. Hey! Rather, it is Ekene here who isn't your son. What? What is she saying, Mom? That I am a bastard? Am I? How oh, come on, shut up. Before I stole you and brought you in this compound, I was a laughing stock in this whole community. I was a laughing stock to this man and this miserable woman. After, after he went to prison, and I realized that I had all the chance to claim what rightfully belonged to me, to enrich myself and make you good, to make you happy. I did it all for you, so you shut up. Shut up. Ulama, I married you because you were a calm and gentle woman. Though I might not be a good husband, a good father or whatever, but I never knew that you would turn to this evil that you are now. I never knew. So, what do you plan to do? You want to keep this sick, infected, miserable woman here? This wretched woman, I want to keep her here? Oh, no, ma. I might be dating now. But I know with the power of love, I will be healed. Everything I do in my life, all that I have sacrificed for my husband was out of love. Not because of lust or money. I know I will come around. The mom, I know I'll be well. Chinaza, a lot has happened in this family. 
wicked and abominable things. I know that I'm abominable. I know that I'm wicked. I know that I'm abominable. I know that I did all this. But one thing I know is that we can start afresh. We can start anew. Please, I'm asking you. I want us to start afresh and get all these things right again. It is possible. Hey, Mama, I am ready to start a new life with you. No, honey, no. I'm ready. No, 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 no. I have come to say I have come to tell you how sorry I am for the stupidity that has engulfed my life over the past few years I failed to see in you the man who truly loves me while I pile away for a man who loves someone else today you made me realize what true love really is and I am ready to commit my life into yours. Because I know that you love me and you will forever love me. If you cannot forgive me, I understand. I know that it's my fault. You know. Thank you. Thank you. If there. Do you truly love me? I love you, Lord Jesus. Hey. I love you too. I love you so much. Oh, 
Joker, Joker. 